because you, hell. you can pick it up and go to the hospital and get it sorted back on because the nerves are still in it. So you can sew it back on. Fuck it, I'll disfigure him because he won't come back to me. How oh, will that come around? Is that from a major feud, that? Is that like when two men just hate? There's no shaking of hand after that fight. Then. You don't shake his hand. You just put your hand up. I am the man. You know what I mean? Like that. You don't shake his hand. What do not shake his hand for? I've just murdered him. I've just hit him. I've just let him know he's nothing. Uh, matter of fact, when you have a dirt to go, you send, you send a message to his family. That's what I can do with all these. You know what I mean? And that's a sad way, isn't it? But that's where it's gone now. Well, a lot of people... But it's quite a rare thing, is that? A rare very thing? Rare, very yeah. rare, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people like, nice fair go. I mean, this geezer... Listen, I've met some dangerous people, but this man oozes man. He's a man's man. You know, he's old school, he's prehistoric, he's... He's got morals, he's got, you know, his respect there. But listen, this, this is going back, this is going back to, we're going back to the 1800s, yeah. He looks straight in your eyes and he, and he knows. He knows whether you're going to be all right and he's, whether he's going to give you the time of day. And So I'm, I'm giving this geezer eye contact 100%, mate. I'm not dropping that eye contact once. After all that fighting chat, Paddy and I have come down the gym so I can see it in practice. <laughs> I know Paddy loves the fighting, but now I can see that he doesn't take his training lightly. Unless you've got a massive dig and you can knock someone out immediately, you've got to take it seriously. So it's just a, obviously a part of their culture. Being a boy, being a man, you know, you look, you look after your family, you look after your kids and you keep yourself in shape just in case you've got a feud on the go and you need to stand up and have it off. Just look at his feet. Uh, it's not exactly where that rope is at all times. It takes balance, technique. Not all about throwing big right-handers, see? There's a bit of grace involved. But he's also got a punch like a freight train. <laughs> Powerhouse. 50 years of age, geezer. Oh. I meet Paddy's eldest son, Simon. He's a fighter like his dad and I can't help but notice his ear. I thought he might have been on the receiving end of a dirty go, but actually it was bitten off in a nightclub. And next thing you know, I've got a cloud there. I didn't know what happened, I went down, and when I went down, he followed me down and bit my ear off. And I've looked at my shoulder and it was all blood in. I hope we're not going there tonight. Simon's in training for a bare knuckle rematch. This is the first encounter in Scotland, where Simon in the Red was challenged to a fight by another family. But the dispute wasn't settled, and so a rematch will take place in a week's time at the Appleby Horse Fair, where I plan to go with Paddy. Simon's going to fight, despite the fact he's got a broken hand. If you pull out now, people start thinking a bit different. And like, don't get me wrong, I've got every excuse in the world because it's there. I've got fracture scans, everything on it. Yeah, of course. But it's not happening, no. I can close it. You can see, if you look there, you've got four or five good belts in there, isn't it? So, if I land one, it should be all over anyway. I it? love that. I've got four or five good belts in it. I mean, for fuck's sake, it's another level, this. Look at him. Van Damme. You savage. I'm sure was. Sa <laughs> Would you like to meet him down an alleyway? Termination. <laughs> Fuck Would you like to meet another yeah. alleyway? Let's see a bit of that. Yeah, fucking yeah. sitting there, sitting there in your fucking settees. Paddy's just getting changed now. I've uh, didn't want to follow him in the older I change him. I mean, you know what I mean? He might get a bit funny with me. You know, I'm still, still breaking ground with him. But if he keeps on getting Larry, right? <laughs> fucking hell! Oh. Paddy's a Man U fan, and with the Champions League final against Barcelona on tonight, we're off down the boozer. On the way, I asked Paddy some more about the shooting that nearly killed him. I swear on my life, and I mean this, I was in intensive care, and my father came over to me, came down from London, and he brushed me over, he brushed my head like that, and he said to me, are you all right, my Patrick? I said, oh, man, I says, my head will be all right in about six weeks, I says. Will you go and start a fight out for me and him, I says. Tell that I want to fight him, I said. I said, please, old man, I said, get the fight sorted out for me. I'm intensive care, asking me, old man, 
to get a fight started out for me. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. You know what I mean, Leo? So, so your mind over matter totally. You, 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 you're not even thinking about where you are. Nah, you're not right. thinking about intensive care. You're not thinking about anything other than the fact you can't wait to fucking stand up with this geezer. I've suddenly realised that Paddy might actually be the Terminator. Lying in his hospital bed with a bullet in his head and still up for a fight, this guy is something else. Keeping up the family reputation seems more like a family obsession. Coming up, while having a quiet drink in Manchester, it all kicks off. Right, all right, all right, all right. Let's just calm, let's calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down. I'm with Traveller, bare knuckle boxer, and all round hard man, Paddy Doherty. I've been staying on his site, and he's already told me some things that have left me speechless. I can eat you just like I'm eating a bar of chocolate. Your nose, your eye, your lips. Paddy's a Man United fan, and he's taking me down the boozer to watch them play against Barcelona in the European Cup final. I'm in the right man of state now, right? Now we've, we've, we've stayed away from the main bit. So I was going to get driven mad right now. He's took me to the maddest little boozer right in the middle of an estate called the Clarendon, right? Now, just have a little look round. Go on, have a little pan. Now, have you ever seen so many lunatics in your fucking life? Thank fuck for Paddy. I feel confident walking in there. Cockney walking in here on a Man United game against Barcelona. I mean, this is like, we're going back to the old school. Please, Paddy, just fucking don't leave my side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going in. Wish me luck. Everyone seems pleased to see me, but I'm still glad Paddy and Simon have got my back. For a West Ham fan, this is my worst nightmare. But as they say, when in Rome, 